Welcome back, guys. I got sent this awesome titanium stove from Outsmart Gear, and we're gonna check that out here. Wait till you see how small this thing is. I tried to have the lighter out there for comparison. It weighs 0 0.8 ounces. Now, to compare that to something like the E-Tech City Stove, very popular stove you see on a lot of people, Adventure Archives uses one, that weighs 3.4 ounces without its case. So 0 0.8 ounces, incredibly lightweight, being made out of titanium, that just makes it just wonderfully light. Everything's really easy to use. To screw it in, it took me just a second to screw in because it's a little smaller, so my fingers were kind of flutzing around. Now, that's an 8-ounce fuel canister there from Optimum. Been no problems using their fuel. But look how small this thing is. Absolutely tiny. I'm going to show you the flame here in a little bit in the dark so you can actually see what that looks like. Now, this is going to become the go-to stove for me just because... I have gotten to the point where I'm counting ounces all the time now. And I keep adding that up and keep adding that up. And this will be three more ounces that I can add to something else. Really happy with the performance, though. Um, it doesn't sputter. It has a very nice continuous flame. If you crank it on full blast, it really goes. Now, the problem is I have an Olicamp XTS pot, which I love, and I'm never going to give up, and I think it's a, as good as some $50 pots, $40 pots. It has the gauges and stuff on the inside. Now, we're just boiling 8 ounces of water here, so nothing crazy, and we're going to do it in real time. The problem is, because I have that heat sink on the bottom of the pot, I can't just set it there. That's okay though, because again, I'm normally only boiling eight ounces to 16 ounces of water. So if I have to hold my hand there for a minute or two uh, to save the weight that I'm saving, no big deal. I'm totally gonna do it. Now it also doesn't have an igniter on, which the E-Tech City, some people say, well, it doesn't have an igniter. Uh, I, I've got a lot of ways to create flame now, so I'm not going to worry about that extra weight. As you can see right now, this is what I would actually consider boiling. When I see bubbles rising to the top and it's slightly swirling around, that's boiling. Um, I'm going to take it off here in just a second because, again, some people have various terms of what's actually boiling, but I think that was a, a, a light boil. Now, if you want to get it to a stronger boil, you'll see that I'm just going to put it back on just for a fraction of a second and it will get back up. Now, again, that's just eight, ounce of eight ounces of water. It was 75 degrees outside and the water before boiling was probably about 45 degrees. It was hose water. So again, you can see here the heat sink that I was talking about, and that's why I can't set it. So uh, it, that's not going to be a deal breaker, though, for me. The lightweight stove is just amazing, and I'm going to be taking it for sure. You can see it gets a really nice spiral on too. That's pretty cool. Really liked looking at this in the in the dark. Hard to see in the light though. Now, be prepared to see your stove turn a little bit of color around where the flame is. That's normal. That's what titanium does. But it's also really strong too. So this is not a weak stove by any means. Should last you a, a long, long time. And... As I said, that will be replacing the E-Tex City Stove that actually you guys have never seen me uh, use. It was going to be the go-to stove this year, but again, for scale, there's the lighter, so you can see how big that flame is. Awesome. I highly recommend it. Definitely give this five stars worth the purchase. The reviews on Amazon seem to be legit. I don't believe they're, they're flubbing it. I can definitely recommend this. We're just going to take a look at the flame just a little bit more here so you guys can just see the performance of it being on for a while. A lot of people don't show you the stoves on, I've noticed, long enough, and you kind of kind of want to see if it's sputtering or not. Now, does, does it have a sputter here or there? I guess it does, but it's nothing that I would complain about. They also sent me a pretty cool titanium spoon that has the serrated edge 
really lightweight. This is much better than the plastic alternatives. Not going to make you sick and stuff down the line or has a chance to. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.